الله أكبر الله He says, we will definitely test you. We will definitely test you with some of the following. So he makes mention of fear, khawf, he makes mention of ju' which is hunger. And he makes mention of lack or loss of wealth and produce. These are all part of the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us. Why? In order to see what do you do when you don't have? What do you do when things do not go according to your liking? Do you do that which is prohibited in order to earn or in order to benefit yourself? Or do you stick to the law of Allah? That is when you will be true to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you know the sickness I have is from Allah. He is the one who made me sick and he is the one who will cure me. Yes, through that which is permissible, you will go to the doctor. Perhaps you will achieve medication, whether it is herbal or whether it is the conventional, whatever it is. But for as long as it is within that which Allah has permitted. The minute we end up going to someone who's a fortune teller or a person who claims to know the unseen, and we start listening to them. We have already started dwindling. We are no longer genuine to Allah. We are not true to Allah. We have lost sincerity to Allah. Where is the nasiha? The hadith says this whole deen is based on what is known as nasiha. And that is the genuine feeling, the love of Allah, the sincerity to Allah. Where is it? When Allah tests us, we quickly run away. May that never happen to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with us at all times.